Hello people, there's the 6mm France 1940 Wargamer again. At the moment I'm painting some leaven buildings because it's a week before Joy of Six 2017 and I thought, well, you know, before I buy some more I better at least make a start on these. These are the Dutch townhouse sets. There's three of them here all together. Four buildings in a set with a Dutch gable on the front. They all came made from this colour, pigmented resin, sort of darkish grey, normally with the leaven stuff it's this, or always has been, this creamy coloured resin, they both paint up just as well I suppose. So right now I've just slapped on the first coat for all of these, there's a whole bunch going to be in various shades of brick, various shades of brown and brick, some are going to be a bit on the painted side, I've got a, it's going to be a lurid pink in it, and I've just inked in all the windows, like that, this is pretty simple with one of these, got this from WH Smiths, it's a uh, pigment ink pen so when it dries it doesn't come off doesn't get lifted by if you put a well, when you put the varnish over for instance don't know how fine that is but it's pretty fine and it's easy to get in the window openings so you can slap the base coat on then do the window openings a bit more carefully this is gloss pink because it's the only pink I've got and uh, it covers that fine, goes over that all right, doesn't just slide over. That's the roof top coat on now, matte 27 over black for the slate roofs, uh, matte 62 over matte 98 for the terracotta roofs. Right, that's the wash diluted. It was basically probably about two drops of ink one drop of washing up liquid and probably about 10 drops of water but I can never seem to get it the same I've tried using the same quantities every time and it always comes out different and uh, I've also tried proprietary washes the Humbrol dark wash and it was just like black paint it just <laughs> just plastered it so I gave up on that one right, right now for the wash I put some more water in there because it's been sitting here for a while while I've been doing something else and at the end of the day it doesn't really matter because if you start using the wash and it's a bit dark and the house looks a bit like well too grimy stick a bit of water in and you know not all houses are going to look the same so it's kind of doesn't really matter does it so just slap it on the side, dab it off, there you are nice random looking dirty wall. I find kitchen rolls alright to mop it off. It doesn't leave any fibres behind because the wash just sits on top of the enamel paint and Unless the enamel paint is still wet, it doesn't stick. The sides, what I discovered, put your wash on, draw the kitchen roll downwards and you get nice sort of rain staining smears. Alright, so I've used these weird and wonderful colours to pick out the doors. I've picked out other architectural details like uh, a sort of uh, terracotta tiles and the light coloured stone. I've picked out those architectural details. Um, oh, and uh, painted the steps in picked out these details after I did the wash but because I wanted to, to leap out of it but I think it's a bit too stark and uniform so I think I'll probably 
go over it with the wash again on them details just to tone those down a bit. I've come indoors now for obvious reasons because I'm going to be sticking these um, build posters on the sides of the houses. You know, it's not just a bare wall with some detail to look at, a bit of a dressing of the scene, if you will. These are just images I got off the internet, got them printed up locally, you know, just wrote a copy of paper or something, and uh, sticking them on with PVA when it's dry, I can go over the entire lot with matte varnish. Okay, so that's my billboards done for the sides of the buildings, just in case they were on the ends of the rows or if there's alleyways between them. So there we are, there's the finished articles, tastefully arranged round some sort of market square. Give the walls a base coat of whatever colour they're going to be. Give the roof a base coat of a darker colour of what they're going to be. Give the roofs a top dry brush of the actual colour you want them to be. Do the architectural details. I like to put a terracotta ridge tile on. Ink in the windows. Instead of just having them black holes, I like to just put a dab of a sort of bluey grey for a bit of reflection. I know technically you'd only ever get that if you were at ground level and you could see a reflection of the sky in the windows, but you know, that's what makes you think, yep, yeah, that's a window, so that's what I do. Black ink wash over everything just to dirty things up and take the edge off the uniformity of the painting. Some billboards and posters on the sides if you want that for a bit of aesthetics on there. And uh, yeah, matte varnish on top of everything just to give it a bit of protection. And that's how easy it is to do these 11 miniatures buildings. Hope you like this. If you did, get into some 6mm wargaming.